Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to do a tutorial on how to use image-based lighting. Um, for that purpose uh, in Maya we're going to use an HDR file sometimes called HDRI file uh, which is a high dynamic range image and what we're going to do is we're uh, basically going to create a sphere around the object that we're going to create and we're going to wrap a texture around it, an image, and the, um, the, the lighting patterns in that photograph, if you will, uh, will be applied on our object. So that's how we're going to create our lighting. Sounds complicated when I explain it, but when I show you, it's very, very easy to do. Okay, and the HDR files that we're going to use in, in this file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link underneath the video that will point you towards a website where you can find all sorts of files for free so you can experiment with that. Okay, let's go. Now, before we do anything, you need to have uh, an object to light, obviously, before we create our image. Okay, so we're going to set up a, a quick and easy uh, setup here. I'm going to select a ground plane in polygons menu, pull that out, hit 5 for shaded mode, and I'm going to select a sphere and pull that out. Now whenever you are selecting a sphere to have things reflect off, it's nice when it's uh, nice and round. So we're going to go to our uh, Polysphere 1 tab and I'm going to increase the subdivisions to 60. So we get a nice smooth surface, like so. I'm just going to make sure that it's positioned nicely on the grid. So. I just uh, went to my front view in this uh, screen here and okay that looks uh, all right back to my perspective view so this is a basic setup now before I uh, apply the image based lighting I'm gonna quickly apply some materials to these two so I'm gonna select my ground plane right click on that go to assign new material I'm gonna go with a Fong E in this case and for the color, I'm going to change that to white. And as for my sphere, click on that, right click, assign new material. And I'm going to go with a Maya preset for Chrome, which is MIA underscore material underscore X. Just like that. In my attribute editor, go to that material tab, hit the preset button, go to Chrome and replace like so okay so now we've got that basic scene set up we're going to start to set up the image based lighting so first we're going to go to our render settings and in our render settings we're going to go to the mental ray uh, render which is this one here and then we're going to go to the indirect lighting tab now if you select that you've got an option on top here image based lighting and we are going to hit create okay now if you minimize this you'll see that a huge sphere has been created around my object and actually you can select this sphere and scale it and so forth but that's for another day okay so that is created but as you can see there's no image applied to it yet so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go into the attribute editor and here you see a selection folder so I'm gonna select that I'm gonna search for my HDR files on my computer and I got uh, a quite of them quite a lot of them they're all free as I said and uh, I'm gonna go with a sky a blue sky with clouds and stuff okay and I'm gonna hit open okay now as you can immediately see there is an image applied to my scene and if I scroll that around you're gonna see you know sky and so forth okay so we're gonna zoom in a little bit and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my sphere hit E and I'm gonna rotate that a little bit and the reason is when I render my scene I don't want to see that dark bit below here okay so something like that now I'm gonna zoom in on my object and I'm actually going to scale out my ground plane a little bit something like so okay and pull that down 
that looks about okay. Now, <clears throat> to prove to you that this image-based lighting works is I selected a chrome material and we have an image around here and you will see the reflection of this sphere on my object. So we're quickly going to go to our uh, render settings and check whether we have all our settings correctly before we hit render. So this we already set up. The quality, I'm going to pull it up to about one, um, roughly. There we go. Close enough. In my common tab, I'm going to select the image size. I'm going to go with HD 720. All right. Okay. Now we're all set to render. There we go. All right. As you can see, uh, we got reflection of the sky on the sphere, and uh, we still got a little bit of black in here, but that's okay. And this tutorial is not about creating a cool sphere, it's about explaining the process. So, I uh, hope you guys like it, and uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section. And uh, as I promised, I'll put a link in there where you can find the HDR files. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Thank you.